Hello everyone. So today again, we are going to do exercise one. In the previous practice session, we did step one of exercise one and we tried to observe our imagination. So to begin with, we try to observe our thought and then we try to observe our feeling and finally the complete desire, thought and expectation. We also had a look at the various challenges or issues that we face while observing our imagination and we try to resolve that. I hope you have been able to do this regularly. I hope you have been able to do this exercise every day. And now we're going to discuss about steps two and three of exercise one. So now we are going to have a look at steps two and three of exercise one. So these are the seven steps that we have been listing and we already did step one. And now we are going to discuss step two and three. And this is something that you have to do every moment essentially. So in step two, what we are saying is that now you have to evaluate your feeling. So in step one, we said that don't evaluate, just observe without reacting, without changing, without imposing anything on yourself. You know, just observe the way it is, your imagination. Now in step two, we are saying that you need to evaluate your imagination, your feeling. So I'm evaluating the feeling, the thought that I have at this moment. And then I'm trying to find out for myself is this feeling naturally acceptable to me or not? So first of all, you have to observe your feeling. Maybe you are only observing the thought, then you are not able to make out exactly whether it is acceptable to you naturally or not. So it is very necessary that you are able to see your feeling. And as we suggested in the previous step, that if you're not able to observe the feeling directly, observe a thought and then analyze it to make out what essentially has been the feeling when the this kind of thought was going on inside you. So find out whether this feeling is naturally acceptable to me or not. Then is it natural for me? Is it in accordance with human nature or not? Do I want the continuity of this feeling or not? So ask these questions to yourself. So at this moment, you need not name the feeling, right? Just try to observe whatever feeling you have inside. Is it naturally acceptable? Is it in accordance with human nature? Would you like to continue with that feeling or not? Try to find out. Here again, make no effort to continue or hold to any feeling, thought. For example, do not try to continue holding on to a feeling or thought that gives comfort. Similarly, make no effort to stop or change a feeling or thought that makes you uncomfortable. Just observe the feeling as it is and simply evaluate it without any reaction. So you have to evaluate, but not react. And evaluation essentially means referring that feeling to your natural acceptance and trying to find out whether this is natural for me or not. Is it in accordance with human nature? Is it naturally acceptable to me? Would you like to continue with this feeling? And I'll say that do not name the feeling, whether it is your position or relationship at this moment. Just try to observe within you, whatever feeling you have, whether you'd like to continue with this or not. So do the steps one and two throughout the day, if you can, or you can make certain sets of 15 minutes, half an hour, and you can sit multiple times in a day in some comfortable position and keep observing. And then note down your observations in your journal, say every four hours, so that will really help. If you see here, what we are doing, we are trying to conduct research on our own imagination. So presently, we are used to conduct research on physiochemical things outside, whatever we observe from the sensation outside. But now you are trying to conduct research on your own imagination, trying to dig out your feeling, trying to dig out whether it is naturally acceptable to you or not, isn't it? So we can take some examples here. Let's say you are sitting in a air conditioned room in front of your director, right? For whom you have a feeling of fear. You have a feeling of mistrust there. Now, is this feeling of fear or mistrust naturally acceptable to you or not? Do you like to have the continuity of this feeling inside you or not? Try to find out. So one prompt response could be no. Okay. So when you look at this particular example, we can say that, yes, I would naturally not like to continue with this feeling. I would naturally not like to have this kind of feeling, but you might be bearing this kind of feeling inside. And this is just one example. 
and see that the room is air conditioned okay so you are getting a good sensation from the body because of the air conditioning but the feeling that is there inside you is not something that is making you comfortable this is not something which is acceptable to you naturally and then naturally want to come out of it you don't want to continue with this taking another example let's say you are sitting under the tree and there is no air conditioner there okay with your friend for whom you are feeling of assurance trust now just find out whether this feeling of assurance that is trust naturally acceptable to you or not would you like to have the continuity of this feeling or not so you may it may be the case that you are not getting favorable sensation from the body but you are having the feeling which is acceptable to you naturally and then you may like to continue with this feeling isn't it now compare these two situations what is happening here so at the level of body earlier we were getting some favorable sensation now you might not be getting that favorable sensation right but what is more important to you is your feeling whether it is naturally acceptable to you or not isn't it taking some more examples let's say you are looking at an album with old photographs it brings back some nostalgic memories and your imagination gets drifted away to the time when you were there with your close friends and you went on a picnic together and you start remembering the fun that you had together now what is your feeling at this time when you are remembering this scenario and does this feeling make you feel comfortable or uncomfortable inside taking another example let's say you think of a news item that you may have seen earlier depicting a violent attack by some group of people on a helpless old man and now what is your feeling and does this feeling make you feel comfortable or uncomfortable inside so you'll see that if the feeling is acceptable to you naturally then you feel comfortable if the feeling is not acceptable to you naturally you feel uncomfortable isn't it but we'll look at these two things separately first we'll try to see whether the feeling is acceptable to you naturally or not and then we'll try to see whether you are comfortable with that feeling or not we'll do this separately so that you are able to identify what is your natural acceptance many times we equate acceptance to natural acceptance we equate some kind of conditioning to natural acceptance and that's why it is very important that you are able to observe your natural acceptance distinctly clearly without any confusion so in step 2 what we are essentially trying to do you have been observing your feeling and then we are trying to find out whether you would like to continue with this whether it is something naturally acceptable to you or not so as an assignment in step 2 you have to observe your imagination and then try to distinguish between the expectations the thoughts and the desires that is feeling in your imagination so desire or feeling is something that you want to be thought is something that you analyze how to be an expectation is something that you expect outside that let it be so this way you can even make out the difference between your expectation thought and your feeling that is your desire so when you have an unpleasant interaction with a close relative okay for grown ups it would be the case of a spouse or some family member or close friend then try and analyze the incident objectively what is your expectation at that time what is your thought and process then what is your feeling at the base of your thoughts can you make it out so what has been your expectation in that given situation what has been your thought okay and what was the feeling which was guiding your thought so try to look at your desire that is feeling your thought and expectation not distinguishingly separately again the second question is when you do household chores or tasks that may be repetitive what is your feeling at the base of this doing for example it may be the feeling of care for the family members or it may be a feeling of being forced to do that being exploited now just try to make out if uh, you had the feeling of taking care of your family members right then was it naturally acceptable to you or not but if you are forced to do that particular task then how you felt was it acceptable to you naturally when you felt exploited so if you have the feeling of care is this feeling naturally acceptable to you do you want the continuity of this similarly if you have the feeling of being exploited is this feeling naturally acceptable to you or not 
do you want to have the continuity of this or not so try to make out all this isn't it so you can note down all these things in your journal analyze them and then try to find out the responses to these questions i hope you are able to get this isn't it now in step 3 we are again doing the self evaluation of the state so i am evaluating the impact of my feeling my thought at this moment on my state of being so with this feeling am i comfortable within or am i uncomfortable within whatever feeling i have whether it is acceptable to me naturally or not acceptable naturally how do i feel comfortable within or uncomfortable within am i in harmony within or am i in a state of contradiction within am i in a state of happiness within or state of unhappiness within find it out for yourself think over this so when i have the feeling which is acceptable to me naturally that is it is natural it is in accordance with human nature a feeling that i want to continue with then i observe that i am comfortable within i am in harmony i am in a state of happiness within the moment i have a feeling that is not acceptable naturally a feeling that is unnatural not in accordance with human nature then i observe that i am uncomfortable i am in contradiction i am unhappy within at that moment now with all this i can see that the feeling that i have decides my state of happiness or unhappiness now you might have concluded this analytically at the level of thought but now you need to observe it directly isn't it so this exercise again there for every moment so to begin with you can do it for certain uh, time duration but if you go into these exercises you will see that now you are able to do this very naturally every moment and every moment you are understanding yourself every moment you are analyzing yourself every moment you are being aware of yourself now taking some example suppose your boss or senior at work made a presentation or gave a talk that you attended he or she now asks your opinion about it you did not think much of it and in fact felt that it was quite bad but not wanting to share these thoughts with your boss and you say that it was very good does it happen with you <clears throat> has it happened with you earlier in student life has it happened with your faculty so while saying these words reflect on the thoughts going on inside you what is your feeling at the base of your thought does this feeling make you feel comfortable within or uncomfortable within so initially you may not be able to see these things the moment the incident occurs as you may or may not have developed the capacity at that time it is okay to reflect on the incident as an after thought and then analyze it to see your feeling so once you become familiar with observing the imagination you can directly see the feeling at the base of your imagination even while the incident is occurring and evaluate it so such kinds of situations we might keep on going through at home in your college maybe when you go on a job this will these things might happen and initially you might take some time to observe all these things many times we are generally not aware what is happening inside we keep on reacting to situations without being aware but once you get into observation you will see that earlier you had to make a note of it observe it separately analyze it draw some conclusion or inferences from that but the more you do this kind of exercise very naturally you are able to see your feeling every moment you are able to see where able to you naturally you are able to see whether you are comfortable within or uncomfortable within isn't it now what to do next is something that we'll discuss later but first of all you have to be aware of your state of being your current state so the assignment that is there associated with step 3 is that observe in every interaction that you have with the other human being what is your feeling at this moment is it acceptable to you naturally or not do you want its continuity or not does it lead to a state of harmony within or contradiction within does it lead to a state of happiness within or unhappiness within and from these observations can you conclude that a natural feeling leads to a state of harmony and happiness within and an unnatural feeling leads to a state of contradiction within unhappiness within so verify which of the following feelings 
lead to a state of harmony and happiness. Trust or mistrust, respect or disrespect, love or hatred. And what is the status of continuity of natural feelings in me? So you can start with observing your state of imagination in a certain situation. So if you're not able to observe in the given situation, you can look back, you can try to recap and then try to observe what was going on inside you. What was your feeling? Were you comfortable at that moment or not? Okay. You might feel depressed at times. You might feel excited at times. In both the situations, were you comfortable within or not? Try to make out. And then you can also see which of these feelings are acceptable to you naturally. Would you like to continue with them or not? When are you feeling harmonious within? When are you feeling happy within? Right. And also you can evaluate what is your current level of competence? For how much time you are able to have the naturally acceptable feelings in you. So what we did today, earlier we had done step one and we tried to observe the feeling. Now we went ahead to observe whether the feeling is acceptable to me naturally or not, whether I'm comfortable within or not. Okay. And this is something that you have to keep on doing. Keep observing your state of imagination, your state of being and keep on noting in your journal. And you see that as days go by, you might be able to see some progress in your state of imagination. You are more observant, more clear. You are able to see your feelings more clearly. You are able to also come out of your thoughts. You do not get engrossed in your thoughts the way you used to get engrossed earlier. You are able to observe them as if being by the side of your thoughts and observing them, isn't it? So again, as a homework, the assignment has been given to you. You do that and also try to do this multiple times in a day. As you were saying that you can do it every four hours, isn't it? And then keep on noting your observation in the journal and then go back and analyze. That will help you understand yourself, your natural acceptance and also evaluate your current state of being. So that was all for the practice session today. We'll have the next step to discuss in the next practice session. So thank you all.